Hey YouTube, how's it going? Buster here. So, this is going to be a what's in the box. So, yeah, uh, I happened to pick this up yesterday. Well, I was looking for one of these for a while and I was wanting the right one. <coughs> so, I've been up and down the whole of the UK for the last mm, couple of weeks anyway. I was in Manchester, uh, Ashton Underline, looked at a guitar shop there, couldn't find one. Uh, then I went up to Kalil, tried a guitar shop in Kalil, they didn't have one. Tried all the guitar shops in Glasgow, uh, Merchant City Music, uh, where I bought this from, guitar guitar I was in there looked but I didn't ask. Uh, I was in Tron Pawn, which is a pawn shop right at Tron Gate, Glasgow. Tried in there, asked in there. Uh, I found a jazz bass uh, in I think it was cash converters. Uh, but obviously it wasn't a jazz bass I was looking for. No, I've not actually seen this guitar. So when I went and asked in Guitar Guitar, uh, when I finally actually asked him and spoke to him, the guy went on the computer and literally this came in, I think it came from Camden in London. Uh, simple questions asked was, I wasn't really too bothered about the colour, to be fair. But I wanted a three-tone sunburst. But I wanted the neck and fretboard to be rosewood. I didn't want to have a maple neck and fretboard. I wanted a rosewood one. I didn't bother with the, the colour. But this has got the rosewood fretboard. Three-tone sunburst, which used to be called tobacco sunburst. I don't know why they've uh, decided to call it three-tone. I think it's because it's got tobacco on it. So I've not seen this guitar in the person or even in photos. So I don't know. So when you see it, you're gonna see it for the first time the same as me. Uh, if you don't believe me, you can go to Glasgow Guitar Guitar and ask. I've actually, I've got the receipt here. I don't know if his name is on it. You can ask the guy who uh, sold me it. Uh, I have not seen this guitar in the flesh or even in pictures. 100% I haven't all my son's life I haven't seen it so you're going to see it for the first time the same as me so let's get this opened like I said I was <coughs> looking once I've got I've already got one of these but as soon as I got it I, want, I wanted one where a uh, rosewood fretboard so this is basically what I've got so I've been looking at every guitar shop I've been in there. Uh, didn't have one. These are hard, these are hard to get. So there you go, the guitar's out the bag, or out the box. So that's me getting another, another shipping box anyway. Then I'll leave this up here just now and then I'll move this box in the way two seconds. So I said this is the first time I'm seeing it as well. Uh, I was get told what colour it was. I had the rosewood fretboard. Or oh, it's not rosewood anymore. But for the year I think this is, I think this has actually got the rosewood fretboard. So as you can see through the headstock, Fender Mexican. This is oh, it's lovely, it's lovely. This is uh, I think it's a 2002 or 2003. 2002-2003 a Fender Mexican Peebus. 
in three tone sunburst. Now, this will have a rosewood fretboard because it's 2003, because I think the band was well after that. So, this is proper rosewood. Uh, so, as I said, I've got the white one with the maple neck and fretboard. Beeps, all the sams. Uh, so, once I got that, I wanted a rosewood one and I wanted the three tone sunburst or tobacco sunburst. <coughs> so, that was my only. I didn't really care about the colour, to be fair. I forgot one that was a different colour, but as long as I had the rosewood fretboard or <coughs> uh, whatever they're making rosewood fretboards out of now. So, yeah, this is uh, really nice. <laughs> it's a really nice colour. Uh, as I said, 2003, so this will have a proper rosewood fretboard. So I hadn't, I hadn't seen this, I hadn't seen pictures of it, uh, and they're really hard to get with rosewood fretboards, really hard to get. I was in, you can order them from Fender, the newer ones, the player series, you can order them from Fender, but they're taking up to like six months to a year, because of the backlog. So I was looking for a, a used one. As I said, I was searching everywhere for it and I happened to go into Guitar Guitar yesterday and I said to him, I'm looking for a Mexican Fender because the way I was looking at it was I could have got a, a Vintage Modified well, they're not called Vintage Modified anymore I think a Classic Vibe I could have got a Classic Vibe eh, for 350 350 to 399 and one which I paid for my P-Base so I was kind of budgeting for about 400 between 4 and 500 I was budgeting for, for, for a new, another P-Base so I got this for £449 yeah. and it is in really good condition yeah. and these are hard, as I said are hard to get really hard to get uh, second hand is a me but uh, on the net on the headstock here there's a wee bit of the uh, finish coming off the headstock which I think's just yeah we got finish off the headstock fretboards in brilliant condition hardly any fretwear no dings or dinks on the, the neck, no dinks or dings on the body. It's a lovely three tone sunburst. So I think what we'll do is we'll plug it in and we'll see if everything's working. So, sorry if I'm out of screen just now, but I'm just getting. So I'm going to play through my BH250. This is getting a fake clay inlays. I think it might need new pots. Which is going to be quite alright, okay, sorry, uh, because I've ordered for my, my white P base, I've ordered uh, CTS pots, uh, orange drop uh, cap, and it's already pre wired, so all I need to do is basically plug the pickups in. I've already changed the pickups, so I wasn't going to do it, but I didn't know when they So I got these for, so these are now in 
the white previous the Tone Rider pickups because they're seventy style. So if I need new pots stuff that will come out of the ones that come out of the white one will go into this. A bit scratchy. So the white one's going to get CTS pots, a full iron system, quick release one as well, or non sold them. And why I picked that for that base was if I decided to change the pickups again, see more Duncans or something else, if I don't like them or change them back, then I don't have to worry about unsold and sold them. Because the more times you sold and unsold the pots, you're just damaging them. So, yeah, this is. Uh, this is actually really nice. This is going to get a black. I've also got for this a new black scratch plate. So this is going to get a black scratch plate, which will get done and a new set of roll suits. So yeah, really lovely. So I can see that. I think my new wire harness for the white P base is coming tomorrow. I've already fitted, as I said, I've already fitted the Tone Rider pickups in here just to let them sound. They sound amazing for the originals. The originals from the white P base. Are now in. <laughs> I've changed pickups about. They're in another guitar. Uh, so yeah, this will get all set up the way I like it. So we'll just wait and see what it sounds like. Just change the pots hey, because of what was the ones out of the other P base are brand new, they're literally only a couple of months old. So the, the pots from uh, the white P base will go into this, and then obviously that will get CTS pots and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> over, uh, probably change the jack and stuff, because the ones out the right previous. So why I put that, 
I was going to leave the pick up the Tone Raider pickups for the, P the white PVs until I got the Iron Harness, but when I looked online, they hadn't even because they make them up for you, the harness, they hadn't even said that they'd, they'd sent them or anything. So, just as I finished doing that, then put the pickups from that into the Duff McKagan base because that's now got Fender Mexican pickups in it and a Seymour Duncan. The minute I finished doing it, they sent me the email saying that they'd sent them out. So I think they're coming tomorrow. So I'm off this week, so it'll be, yeah, lovely. Yeah, I'm liking this. I think it's going to look good with the black scratch plate. Uh, setups, it's actually set up really well. Uh, really straight neck. Yeah, like this. So yes, yeah, I definitely got a good deal. I mean, I, I was looking on Reverb and uh, eBay and stuff, and these are selling. These Mexican fenders are selling for uh, loads of money. See, because nobody can get them. Uh, you're kind of limited every guitar shop in there. The Mexican P bases were all maple neck and fretboard. There was no rosewood at all. I know it's not rosewood, it's called rosewood, but uh, I think it's laurel, Indian laurel, I think. Uh, so when I, when I found out that Guitar Guitar in Camden had this for £450, um, £450. So 2003, proper rosewood and fretboard. Uh, definitely a different feeling. Neck's not as wide as the the twenty twenty one. Sounds lovely. So this is going to get a brand new set of rotal sounds. Black scratch plate. Probably change the pots tomorrow if they come tomorrow, and then there you go. So that's it. Fender two thousand three Fender Mexican E bass. Only that, as I say, is the only bit of damage it's got is the finish. The start of peel on the neck, on the headstock. That's it. Machine heads are in mint condition. These, because of the older mixes, they don't have the fender neck plate. Just this plain neck plate. Neck's lovely. Obviously got the. It's got a skunk stripe. Yeah, that's it. So that was what's in the box. Uh, so this will probably get posted up to date at some point. Uh, I've still got a lot. I've obviously got a video on the Duff McKagan base, which is now got new pickups. Still got my blue base that I've did work to, that I've still got a video to do on. I think there's something else, I can't remember. So there you go, that's what was in the box. That was just me seeing it for the first time exactly at the same time as you've seen it and it is lovely yeah i was hoping it was going to be the darker one but i actually kind of like this it's really nice it's a really nice piece of wood and i think it's one piece i think it's one piece of wood but it looks like there's no i can't see any joints or anything yeah uh, the thing we'll say about these as well uh, 2000, 2003 and stuff like that. <coughs> Some of these Mexican bases were made in the American, the, the US factory, and then shipped to Mexico for them to get put together. So, yeah, you could, I could end up, it's, this could have been made in the Defender US factory and just put together. And uh, I want them to take it apart. Apparently, you get there to be with the stuff inside that you can see, I don't, but I don't care, I love this space. Uh, I just wasn't paying over a thousand pounds for a Fender US, even though the guy in Kenny's in Glasgow was trying to get me, <laughs> trying to get me to uh, put a 500 pound deposit and take finance out for another 600 quid. That, if, that, that guitar was nice, that was nice, but can't justify, I don't gig or anything like that, not just now anyway, but it's job on. If I start gigging and stuff once I get this new if I, if I do get a new job, uh, yeah, I might, I might splash out for a, a US made one, but until then, I'm happy with the Mexican ones. So, there you go. 
Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll give you a little update on this later on once I've did everything I'm going to do. Alrighty. So, have a nice week, guys. Keep calm. Carry on.